We have a go for auto sequence start. Roger, go for auto sequence start. Prodigy's onboard computers now have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus eight seconds and counting. Prodigy, main engine ignition. And we have main engine ignition. Three, two, one. And we have liftoff of Prodigy breaking new frontiers in AHX history. Prodigy, complete roll, switch to 118.3. Roger, Houston, going to 118.3. Since antiquity, the night sky has evoked mystery and wonder. For centuries, humans have studied the Earth and the Universe, searching for that crucial difference. The difference that makes Earth inhabitable. Inhabitable to us and the vast pool of life we share this planet with. Is it a mere coincidence that in all the vastness of the Universe, this planet is the only one to bear life as it soars through the galaxies? Or is there life elsewhere, unseen for the time being? Earth is home to millions of organisms such as birds, bacteria, fish, insects and humans who through the action of evolution have come to depend on four main groups of resources. Air Food Water Shelter Ultimately, all energy on Earth comes from the sun in the form of light, which is absorbed by plants. Humans and animals get a share of their energy, where they consume plants and other organisms as food. Without the sun, air cools down, so animals seek shelter. All is silent. Freezing temperatures, harmful radiation, meteor collisions, solar wind, these are just some of the things that prevent the continuation of life. And believe it or not, some of these things are produced from our very own life giver, the sun. But fortunately, there are a number of things that our planet has that protects us from this daily assault. Earth's location also plays a part in keeping us out of the hostility of space. We are located here, about halfway between the centre and the outer edge of our galaxy, the Milky Way. It's quite an isolated spot, away from dense star regions, especially from the centre of the galaxy which has excessive radiation and frequent star collisions. The trees and fields of New Zealand are filled with a diverse range of species. But is there life elsewhere? in the universe. And if yes, how many? Perhaps the most famous answer to this question is the Drake Equation. Now the Drake Equation was thought up by a bloke called Frank Drake in 1961 to figure out how many intelligent communicating civilizations there could be in the galaxy. And Drake took into account things like the number of planets in the galaxy, number of stars in the galaxy, and how many of those planets would be likely to sustain life. Depending on the numbers that you input into his equation, you can get anywhere between 0.001 civilizations uh, to hundreds of thousands. The recent discovery of extremophiles, organisms that can survive in extreme conditions, has further fueled the debate over the potential for extraterrestrial life. With certain organisms being able to survive deep below the Earth's surface, living on pockets of hydrogen, it's no wonder that extremophiles have encouraged the idea that life can exist in a wide range of conditions. Scientists continue to analyse images of planets and moons for signs of life, but as yet, none have been found. But perhaps, in this expanding universe, life is around the next corner. <laughs>